I got a question for you. Does everything we buy have to be brand new? Before you answer, Julia Grieve is here. <laughs> so we all have to say no. Good to see you, Julia. Yes, yes. She just spent the last 30 days completing the Never Buy New Challenge. Okay, never buy new. Were you successful, Jules? Okay, believe it or not, Tracy, I was. Of course you were. <laughs> but, I course will, you were. I, but I will say it was a lot harder than I thought. Yes. I was like, I got this, I got this. I know how to thrift, I know how to borrow, I know how to steal. Like, I don't need to buy anything right. new. But at the end of it, it was like, we're wired to spend. We are. It's just in us. It's, and we do it so quickly. Yes. Right? So I have to say, it was not as easy as I thought. Yeah. I was successful, and it was so rewarding. Okay, it's the impulse of it all. Yes, it's the impulse. Yes. Okay, talk to me a little bit about the the, ch the rules of the challenge. Were there rules? Yes, there are rules. Okay. okay. It is called a buy nothing new challenge. Okay. And it lasts for 30 days. So you can do this any month of the year. It doesn't okay. have to be January. Yeah. Started back in the UK with a one day challenge. Okay. And now it's a global phenomenon. And you're to basically spend the month really looking at how you spend. But let's be ridiculous. I'd be ridiculous. Let's, let's be, be serious. Let's be serious. Because it's, it is ridiculous. Yeah. You are buying food. You are yeah, buying you toilet to. paper. You are buying essentials. If there's yeah. something your family desperately needs, right. that's what it's about. Mm -hmm. You're not. It's really just looking at how you spend. Is there ways that maybe we don't need that? Right. Maybe we could find other ways to get it. Mm. You know, and becoming that conscious consumer, mindful, yeah, mindful exactly. shopping. Exactly. Okay, let's start by taking inventory, shall we? Is okay. that how you start? This is exactly it. So, okay. quick points. If you're going to give this a go, number one, take inventory of what you already have. Yeah. And use it and love it and figure out where it is. Mm -hmm. So that's number one. <laughs> number two, get the whole family involved. It's right. a little difficult if everyone's not. Not involved. Okay. You know, the kids are like, we need this. I'm like, we can't buy it. My husband's like, yes, we can. I'm like, no, we can't. No, we can't. <laughs> no, we can't. We're all in this together. <laughs> and then the last one is check online. You'd be shocked how many support groups there are for oh. like, I think se like over 750 in Canada alone on Facebook yeah. with buy nothing new challenges. Okay, very good. Yes. Okay. Now, you learned a lot during this challenge. I did. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna walk through a few of the lessons you learned. But I'm gonna start with these plastic food containers. <laughs> so this is at the very beginning of the month. They're getting yeah. school. Every Everyone's getting back to it. I'm like, oh my gosh, where are all the plastic containers or for the food? Lids. Like, right? I yeah. have so many. So, you know, in the grocery store, put a pack into the cart, and I'm like, whoa, that's new. So I put it <laughs> out, and now I'm figuring out what am I going to do? How am I going to? So I call my mom. She's like, oh, I've got lots. I get. I'm like, yeah, you got lots, because it's all mine. <laughs> Right. So I took it all back. So, Tracy, the point in the story is that I saved money. Yes. I took inventory of what was actually mine. I don't need any more plastic containers right. in my life. And I had a great visit with my mom. Oh, isn't so that all nice? all of that not spending win, money. Win, win, win. Yes. I love that. Okay, moving right along. You had a bit of a challenge <laughs> because your kids were using their phones as an alarm clock, you didn't want this anymore. Ever, done. So we went and we thrifted alarm clocks. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so you can't clock buy a new one. Radio, this was like revolutionary to my kids. Yeah. They've never seen any technology like this. <laughs> I'm like, we've gone decades with these in our rooms. So anyways, it was great. The kids had an absolute ball fighting. Mimi figured out quite quickly the snooze button. Yes. Loves that, <laughs> you know. So it worked out really well. Again, saved money. Yes. And then actually taught some kids about some old school electronics. So if you do want to buy, you're just not buying new. Or Correct. if you do need to buy, because I like the rule about no phones in the room. They don't need yes. them in the room. No, they don't yeah. need them. They'll scroll in the yeah, kitchen. Exactly. Right? Exactly. All right. So after 30 days, uh, what were some of the, what was the biggest lesson you learned? Okay. Number one was priorities. Okay. okay? Yeah. You have to really think about what you're buying. So if you yeah. really want it, you really want it. And yes. it's actually quite exciting, right? Because before you would just be like, buy, buy, buy. Mm. And then it gets to the point you're just buying everything. Yeah. And nothing special. Mm -hmm. So that is one of the biggest things that I learned for sure. Okay. And the other things that you might have purchased secondhand. Do you have other a few oh, other things? Oh yeah. That you purchased this, was, this was on my this was on my Christmas list. Yeah. Oh, I wanted a hand blender. Didn't get it for Christmas, so I went to go order it and I'm like, oh, oh no, I won't close the computer. <laughs> and all I went to the thrift store and I got myself this. And the kids were like just they just loved it. Like again, yeah. getting them into it. So saving money, yes. but really just being conscious was what was so awesome. But can we talk about about saving money? Yes, we because can. Because there are a lot of people hurting right now, and this might be the this solution. Is, okay. Uh, well, I was more shocked to actually find out that on average in my family, yeah. we spend about $200 a week mm -hmm. on stuff. 
Yeah. That is not my grocery bill. That right. is not. That's a, I need pens and I need right. this and I need laces for I'm my skates. I'm not at all surprised, right? Jules. Yeah, so that's probably us too. Through this month, I saved my family over $800. Excellent. Boom, right back in my pocket, Tracy. Right back in your pocket. Right? Less waste, less money spent, and good time with your mom. Exactly. Right? You got some one-on-one -on -one time. Give me my containers, and now let's hang out, right? Exactly. Jules, thank you so no much. Worries. Really good lesson.